Hi guys, <clears throat> it is a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization on this beautiful Monday morning, December 10th, 2018, as the little elf and I get ready to go back to the Optimus Club Christmas tree lot to sell dead trees to clueless morons on this beautiful day. Just doing what I do, try to do every day, and that is to bring you today's chronicle of the collapse. And I've actually, there are actually several versions of this story on the mainstream media last week on Yahoo News. But once again, I have decided that the version from Common Dreams uh, <clears throat> is the version we're going to talk about, about today's Chronicle of the Collapse. If you are not subscribed to Common Dreams, I highly suggest you fix that. They're a little bit lefty, uh, a little bit sometimes too you know, thinking that the lefties are going to save the planet. But they do a pretty good job of chronicling the collapse of a planet. And this is one instance. And what this story is talking about is trying to connect dots between these former big mass extinctions and the uh, what's unfolding on the planet today. Now there is a little bit of hopium in here. I'm embarrassed to admit a little bit of hopium starting right here in the title. <clears throat> As study ties great dying of 252 million years ago to current climate crisis, experts Stay, say there is still time <clears throat> for a different path. We shall see about that. Uh, there. Anyway, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not here to argue so much, but you can decide for yourself as you read this story uh, how much hopium this inspires for the planet. Take it away. <clears throat> For the first time ever, researchers have tied, quote, climate change triggered by volcanic greenhouse gases, close quote, to the largest extinction in Earth's history, often called the Great Dying, 252 million years ago, and their findings published Thursday in Science are just the latest fuel added to the burning concern about the world's current extinction crisis. The new study adds to a growing body of research on alarming declines in biodiversity, offering a glimpse of what could come of the planet's inhabitants if Global warming is allowed to continue unabated. Okay, so global warming is going to be allowed to continue unabated and it's going to rise exponentially. So there is no could about it. Let's cut the crap here, people. There is no could. It is offers this latest study is offering a glimpse of what will come of the planet's inhabitants since global warming will be allowed to continue unabated. Even common dreams, they get close to the mark, but even common dreams is not willing to step over the line. And we all know what line I'm talking about, although I can't use those four words on this channel. <clears throat> Back to the study. The great dying at the end of the Permian period 
wiped out 96% of all marine species and 70% of terrestrial species. And uh, my guess is the great dying of the 21st century will exceed the great dying of the uh, 252 million years ago. Though I might flip the marine and terrestrial. Anyway, this is Justin Penn a University of Washington doctoral student in oceanography and the studies, study's lead author, quote, the ultimate driving change that led to the mass extinction, you know, 252 million years ago, is the same driving change that humans are doing today which is injecting greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. The study tells us what is at the end of the road if we let, oh, uh, this is, uh, I'm sorry, this is Penn's co-author, uh, Curtis Deutsch. Uh, the study tells us what is at the end of the road if we let climate change keep going. The further we go, the more species we're likely to lose. That is frightening. The loss of species is irreversible. Yes, and you know, talking about how the latest projections show emissions hitting record levels this year in 2018 and will be higher next year and the, and the year after. Once again, we are going to let climate change keep right on going and what is the, at the end of the road is the great dying of the 21st century. Uh, anybody w wanting to uh, read the handwriting on the wall, it's in Science Magazine, it's in Common Dreams, it's on the mainstream media, what's at the end of the road. All right. The research team, which also included scientists from Stanford University, used a supercomputer to model the impact of greenhouse gases from volcanic eruptions near the end of the Permian period on the species that existed at that time. While scientists have long believed the volcanic activity was tied to the mass extinction, as U.S. Yeah, as U.S. geological survey geologist and volcanologist Self Burgess puts it, this new research quote <clears throat> takes the next step in figuring out why things died at the end of the Permian. It couples what we think was happening in the climate with the fossil record <clears throat> and it does so elegantly. <clears throat> elegantly. Yes. <clears throat> Damn it! <clears throat> I don't know if I swallowed a uh, Christmas tree needle or what. <clears throat> I'm sure I'm getting pneumonia working out there at that Christmas tree lot. Anyway, back uh, to the end of the world. <clears throat> the study determined that as ocean waters warmed and oxygen levels fell, which is exactly uh, what is happening right now today and ramping up all over the planet, marine animals suffocated and died out. This is quoting this guy Deutsch from the Guardian's coverage of this same story. The Guardian also has a good story on this very same study. Quote, for the first time we've got a whole lot of confidence that this is what happened. 
it's a very strong argument that rising temperatures and oxygen depletion were to blame. Do you think so? Given the comparisons to current events, scientists are also now tracking oxygen depletion in the world's oceans. That is happening now, this time due to massive human and industrial carbon emissions. The study has elicited calls for urgent and global action to mitigate the intertwined extinction and climate crises as world leaders are gathered in COP24 in Poland this week to discuss how to meet the goals of the Paris Agreement. And there's all sorts of studies all over the main, uh, stories all over the mainstream media how COP24 is completely falling apart just becoming an absolute joke shambles over there in Poland and there is actually a bigger joke than previously thought. Alright, this is back to uh, lead author Penn. Quote, voluminous emissions of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, rapid global warming, and a decline in biodiversity. The storyline is modern, but the setting is ancient. Yes. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. That was Penn State Geoscience Professor Lee Kump, who is not part of the research team. Uh, quote, as our understanding of the drivers and consequences of the end Permian climate change and mass extinction improves, the lessons for the future become clear, close quote. Uh, and then they go into the, after all of this, this story just goes into this absolute little shot of hopium out of nowhere uh, from uh, meteor meteorologist Eric Kolthaus, who I'm quickly losing respect for. I am not going to insult my intelligence or yours with trying to uh, put a Hollywood happy ending uh, on this otherwise excellent story. Uh, this is clearly where the editors forcing this uh, writer Jessica Corbett to come up with some absolutely uh, just uh, sick joke hopium ending. There is no hopium Hollywood ending, guys. Uh, the Permian mass die-off, mass dying, what's it called? The Great Dying of 252 million years ago is being repeated <clears throat> right now. Uh, and uh, there's nothing uh, that these jackasses over there at COP24 are going to do to turn it around. They're only going to escalate it. But anyway, now that I have chronicled the collapse of global industrial civilization and more importantly the collapse of the planet. Uh, the little dog and I are going to get in my gas sucking truck <clears throat> and head back to the Optimus Club Christmas tree lot to sell dead trees to clueless morons 
who have never heard of the great dying of the 21st century, and if you mentioned it to them, they would roll their eyes at you like you are some sort of obvious lunatic. Get out there and enjoy this beautiful early winter day while you still can. Bye, guys.